What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, back to the free to play account. Free to Payne. I want to talk about something that a lot of people are overwhelmed with with this game. There is so much content that gets thrown at you right away and that you can open up through the storyline that some people don't know what to focus on. Whether it's weapons, leveling, materia, which fights to go to, what they, they farm, etc. Right? So I'm going to cover my mentality behind focus and how I stay focused at the task at hand. And I set myself goals in video games most of the time and I think this may help you guys do the same thing. So first off, if you're brand new or if you're just somebody who's kind of just started playing and you're a little overwhelmed, this guide is going to be perfect for you. Or if you're just somebody who has trouble focusing, this may also help you out again, okay? The way I, I tackle this game and any game really I play is I see what gets me the most bang for my time. Okay, forget bang for buck. This is a free to play account, so we're gonna do bang for time because at the end of the day, it's your time that's gonna matter most. So the first thing everybody needs to do right away, and don't worry about the introductions of brand new content and the triggers and tutorials, don't even do those. Don't do them, okay? The only thing you should really be focusing on right now is continuing through the story until you can't go any further. So this should be goal number one for all free to play. Anyone who's brand new, anyone who's been playing this game for a short period of time, if you have not completed your story, you want to go ahead and complete this as soon as you possibly can. We're talking about all the chapters, including the Final Fantasy VII, the Crisis Core, which is easy to do because it's just one chapter, and then the First Soldier. Now, the First Soldier is going to be a lot more difficult than the rest of these because it does entail up to 50 some odd K at the end of it all to get it done. But remember, you don't have to use the specific units that's recommended in the story to get the 50 blue crystals you can always go back and get that just change the the story heroes to free party right here right story party to free party and it will unlock you to be able to use anybody you want out of anyone in your lineup so for some odd reason you have let's say glenn is your best character because you just pulled the best weapons for him and you you just get oh, got unlucky right well you can put him into your final fantasy 7 story and let him carry your characters right so that is something that's very possible so storyline guys is your number one focus. A lot of people neglect story because they just want to start looting uh, weapons and gear and all that jazz. I promise you guys, neglecting story is the worst thing you can possibly do. So get this done first. Okay, number two. When you have gotten to a point where you cannot go any further, what's your next option to go to, to level up, right? So there's two major things I want you guys to focus on. Number one is going to be weapons. Weapons are going to be your number one power increase outside of leveling and stat stream which we'll talk about very shortly okay your weapon being increased in power is going to be what drives your characters to go further in story and then also push harder content as a free to play it's very important to know that now right here you're going to see you're going to have some material missing here if you click on this it'll show you ways you can get it now obviously red dragon very hard 2 is not going to be possible but this weapon quest right here right is something that may be possible so you put a team together, you jump in here and you start tackling content like this and you push through and you complete it. So focusing on your weapon is going to be your number one goal for power growth. It's extremely important. And the reasoning behind that, right? I'm not even gonna do this, I'll do it somewhere later just so I can talk to you guys about this, is when you uncap something, you also increase the R abilities and you also increase the, you unlock the S abilities with your materia. So this is going to be the biggest reason for your growth in this game so make sure guys you are uncapping and leveling and getting yourself resources from those modes number two obviously dupes dupes help a lot dupes will actually increase the stats and your abilities at a certain point depending where you are in the actual duping process as free to play don't try to dupe this max you're never going to do it you're never going to do it. It's going to take a long, it's a long term game, right? So don't do it. Just focus on w duping what you can and then going from there. Another thing for free to play also to note is having the right combination of weapons together, okay? Understanding what sub weapons to use and understanding what materia to equip to take advantage of your SPT materia right here, right? So knowing that is going to help. If you don't know what to do with that, go check out my materia video or you can check out the sub weapons video in terms of how that's all done properly, okay? So very, very important to note. Now, the second part, once you're done this, farm weapons first, okay? Use your stamina, right? You have stamina right here. And as you level up, the stamina will decrease, well, it will increase as well, okay? Just so you guys are aware of that. Don't use your stamina potions right away. Save that. 
The second way to grow, obviously, is going to be leveling. Very easy one to do. If you go to growth here, guys, sorry, not growth, sorry, solo content, you guys can simply do one of two things. Number one, you can go to enhancement quest, go to training quest. There's actually a free, no cost, no EXP consumption clearing method here that you can just farm to your heart's content. Not only that, but you also get yourself blue crystals. But there is one here that also offers you more EXP and options to get yourself further blue crystals and also EXP by running this. Now there's a little trick, it's been out already so I can talk about it. You can Cactor Hunt, so essentially jumping into here, if you don't see Cactors jump out, you lose one stamina, jump back in, jump out, etc. Right. So the Cactors give you additional EXP and quite a bit of it. So a lot of free to play can EXP, uh, get EXP that way if they want. So I know it's, again, a couple streamers have talked about it now and I was, I was very silent about it because I didn't know if this was going to be an issue for a lot of people, but it looks like people are on board. So that is another way to do it. Get in here, farm this. When you see a character, keep going. If you don't see a character, jump out, jump back in. If you have the time to do it, it's the fastest way to level hands down. There's no better way to do it, okay? So there's that option. The second option, of course, is doing the actual co-op mode, which gives you EXP in a ton a ton of items so co-op mode is a great way to ensure that you get a little bit of everything that you need including weapons now the hard part about co-op mode if you don't have friends is of course finding people who are actually still playing co-op mode at those smaller levels so jump on a discord like mine for example and you guys can do that so this will help you get weapons weapon material so that two birds and one stone plus exp but exp is going to be your second fastest way to grow for your character okay not only that but exp also opens up the next thing that is important and that is going to be your stat stream now this here is going to be your third method of growth and the reason why this is the third method is it does depend on your exp to push further so if i click here for example i can unlock all of these for cloud right and you can see it'll, it'll give me these additional stats here and this is going to be an easy way to grow so number three focus should definitely be battle towers and getting these pieces now you see here i'm all out of clouds actual um, images so his his you see the, that's also an achievement right here so if I go to this point for example it's gonna require 20 of these clouds memories I can't get those right now so you have to go farm those in the battle tower so battle tower is going to be your next slot for your advancement and that is actually found right here in solo content and it's called battle tower okay right over here you click on that you get yourself pieces eventually you won't get pieces anymore you're just gonna get memory so you can see here as you go through it it's all pieces and then all of a sudden at 10 you get memory and it just becomes pieces 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 until you hit about 20 see there's another memory there and then after 20 it just becomes pieces all across the board okay so very important to note this is the place to get all of your memory pieces for your characters and it goes across the board for all stories so this is going to be your number three spot to focus on for power growth and just growth in general so focus on weapons exp stat stream all right and the reason why stat stream is third by the way guys eventually you're going to get blocked to go any further on a stat stream until you actually do hit level 30 right so you first off have to unlock this then the next one up will be says hit level 30 to advance so you have to, no choice but you have to do exp all right Next up is going to be Materia. Now Materia is very, very interesting. You're going to be, have limited sources. So how do you focus on what Materia to get? Well, this is how I focus and how it helps me. When you're ready to synthesize, I don't have that unlocked yet, unfortunately, in this certain um, account because it's brand new. But when you are fighting a boss, let's go to solo content, right? Let's just do a weapon, weapon quest. Just I'll show you guys an example. With your limited sources and you have three main characters you're going to focus on, okay? Three main. Do not focus more than three. One at a time is ideal because you'll do co-op. You can use the one unit in co-op and go further. Ideally, you want to have one really, really good DPS or one really good healer and then just support around them to keep them alive. When you're doing this mode, the way I prioritize what I'm going to build with Materia is based on what I'm farming, okay? It's very simple. So... In this case, let's say I want to get weapon enhancement. I don't know. That's a bad example. Let's just do this one here because I need, you know, I need items, for example, right? Let's say I want to get this weapon enhancement for or uncapping common drop, the uncap, right? What you do is you simply look here and be like, okay, well, I got to farm this for a couple, couple days because I have a couple weapons that require this. What do I make for materia? Well, this is what you're going to make. 
you're gonna make ruins uh, for for these specific symbols and you're gonna make quake that's it focus on material on that until you're ready to move on to let's say uh, Electrum then you switch it up you make thunder and the sigil here and you continue doing this method for materia until you've completed the content that you need to complete and then you move on and you start making materia for the substats if you haven't checked out my materia guide again go check it out it fully talks about that so focus guys on what you're farming and build your materia around that don't let it overwhelm you there's a lot going on in here but it's very simple if you can com compartmentalize all of this information in your head and focus on what you need to focus on first. My obviously another piece of advice is try to get one piece of each elemental materia for each unit. So I'll have one of thunder, one of arrow, one of water, right? That's easy enough to do. That's super easy to do. So that way you at least have somebody with that. But if you don't want to do that and you want to focus on one specific area, give all three of those units a form of blizzard, whether it's the blow version, which is the physical version, or the elemental version, which is the magical version, everybody in your team should have one of these sigils, sorry, both of these sigils and this blizzard. So again, focus based on what you're farming. It's very important that you guys do that, all right? Now, once that's done, as you're playing this game, complete this, okay? This is gonna be your tutorial for, for where you need to go. You can see here, this is my next step was the actual clear criterion dungeon for Tamblin. This as a free to play is invaluable for the first little while, okay? So you're gonna go into these forts, or not these forts, sorry, these, these dungeons, and you're going to be able to go to solo content, dungeons, and complete these criterion dungeons because they give you a couple things. Number one, they'll give you material, oh not material, sorry, they give you gotcha tickets and they give you blue crystals just by going in there and just doing a quick few couple battles. Just remember though, there are three trophies to get along the way, they always, Put a question mark on the last one right here it's very straightforward either kill a cactor or get all the all the treasures just don't miss those two things and you're good to go in this case it's probably going to be get all the treasures so just go in there make sure you don't kill the last boss before before getting the treasures and you're set this is going to be a great way for you to get dupes and weapons that you're looking for through the gotcha ticketing system rather than spending your important crystals and that is going to probably be the next big thing you should get done okay after this, you will unlock summons. Don't worry about summons for now. As a free-to-play player, it's, summons are something you can do the first two battles for most likely, but then it's just done, all right? You're not gonna worry about that for too long. So that's my focus, guys. First thing first, so story. Once you get blocked, weapon, EXP, and a stat stream. Materia only for the things you are planning to farm, whether it's weapon enhancement, whether it's EXP, whatever the case may be, look at what's required for the level, create materia based on that. Don't worry about substats, don't worry about levels for now for materia, that's going to happen later. Also, because there is co-op available, try to do co-op for the extra bonus added drops and EXP. Remember when you're EXP farming, Cactors do happen, so if you want to do the trick where you jump out and go back in and hopefully you get a cactor and then do that stage fully there, you can. I believe you don't lose any stamina. If you do, it's like one, something simple like that. So it's a trick. I don't know if they'll ever patch that. I don't even know if it's designed to be the way it is. I'm just giving you information that's already out there in case you didn't know. And then lastly, guys, events is up to you. Don't neglect your chocobo. When you do unlock it, make sure you're in there going through every single one of the expeditions that you can. Get yourself three chocobos as soon as you possibly can as well, and they will give you EXP for your characters that you're not using, plus additional items that you can trade in for glue crystals as well, and material for leveling up, or leveling up your weapons, I guess, or uncapping them, and additional items along the way. So make sure, guys, those are your focuses, okay? I hope this video helped understand how I focus and where I do it. So again, story, weapon, EXP, stat stream. Those are the main three things. For, for co-op or solo mode, do dungeons as well. Don't forget your chocobos and materia. Just build materia for the items or the fights you plan to do. Don't just build materia non-stop. You'll run out of materials really, really quick. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it all. A couple things also, just a couple tips for you guys. Don't forget in the shop that in the actual daily section or the special, is it special, special or daily? One of the two. There is a zero, fat, zero pack here. Make sure to pick it up, it's free gives you enough to, to actually make it worthwhile. And also the guild shop, make sure you're going through this every day. All right guys, 
Uh, this is Payne. Hope the video helped. If you have any questions or comments or if I missed something, let me know. Again, thank you for all your support, guys. It's been an amazing journey into Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, and I'm loving every second of it. So um, much love. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.